hi friends welcome back to angular tutorial so in this series i am going to create a project As promised in the last video we will create a student management system and we also said that we will create a simple crude application and as a database we have not any database as the angular is a front-end language they need some data from the server so here i will using the json server so along with the crude application we will learn how to use the json server with the angular site right so we'll create api from the json server and we can call from the angular services so in this video we'll basically first install the angular cli and then we'll install our angular projects and then we'll install the json server and we'll see how it's connecting and how to say it and all those related things right so if you check in my folder so we can see inside the desktop and inside the angular tutorial we have already two projects so basically these two projects are created when we have discussed about this angular series so you can see there is about a 35 video inside my playlist so if you want to clear some basic things topic wise you will get all the videos so for now we will start from the very scratch so we will first install the angular cli so for now just go to the google and search angular cli right so just click on this so here you will get the command to install the angular cli so just copy this and go here and write this as we are the ubuntu user there's a reason we are we need to add the sudo but if you are using windows then you can simply write these things and if you not use the minus g then also it will install the purpose of minus g is to install the globally right so if you again want to install any application and you don't need to install the cli so you can access the cli from anywhere right so just enter this and it will start installation okay so it's installing and we need to install the laravel project after the installation of cli as we have already installed then we can see some warnings there's a reason it's keeping some things so if you install this first time then you will not see these things so angular cli installed let's clear these things and create a new project so ng new and here my project name is student management right so write student management so it will install angular project so first it will ask would you like to add angular routings so i need so write yes and i will use css so just enter this so it will time to install the angular project into your application so if you just go to the directory we can see a new directory is created and you can see the installing packages through the npm and as it is installing it takes some time so in the meantime we will check how the json server is installed and how it's working so just go to google and search json server all right so just go to the json server that is and here you can see the json server instructions and there is the table of contents you can see all the details from here and to getting started to install the json server we need to use the npm install minus g json server so we'll install json server globally that's the reason we need to use minus g so let's see what happened inside this terminal so you can see the package installed successfully and successfully installed git actually when you install angular project it will automatically install the git also so let's go inside my project so cd student management and i want to open the code base so i will use the visual studio code so code dot so you can see the files and folders for my project and i want to run the project also so write ng serve so it will basically create the angular bundle so that it will compile and will run and will generate a links right so for first time it will take some times and from second time it will 
take less time so first it will take some times so let's see okay so compile successfully so you can see a url is generated that is the 4200 localhost 4200 so if you just go here you can see a student management app is running so this is your application and all things we can be done from this so all things are installed right so now we need to prepare the json server so we'll install the json server and we'll create our data from here right so to install json server we need to use npm install minus g json server so just create another terminal right okay so it's um little zoom in so that it will be more visible to you and paste this so use npm install minus z json server so it will installing into your application it also takes few times right so it's installing the json server so it's installed okay the next things we need to do we need to create a db.json file so here i want to create a folder that is database and inside that database we can create a file that is db.json you can create any files but for here i am creating the db.json so just open the file so initially this is blank file as usual i just created these things so this is the dot json file mind it the file should be dot json so that the json can be understandable right and i want to add some data so you can see in this way we can create json formatted value and we will get three types of array means three types of data that is post data common data and profile data so just use this data inside the json file so three types of array are created now how to create link so how to get the access of these things from the browser right so the next things we need to start the json server so to start the json server we need to use json server watch and the file that is the json file so just go to the terminal and here what is the folder name so let's see what's the folder that is so so we need to so we need to go outside of the student management so just go out and let's check so this is the database so right database and inside the database we will run the db.json as we have created db.json so just enter this so here also we will get link that is http 3000 and we are getting three types of links that is the post comment and profile as we have three types of array so first see how the post value is coming so just copy the link and go to the browser and paste and go so you can see the json data so if you add any another data so just add something that is two three so just change the id so right here two and three and the value that is json server two and the for third json server three and also i am changing these things right so the post value have the three records so now just to refresh this we'll get the three records like so it's just like api so we can use this link for our api creation right so let's go to the home page so if you just go here you can see not only the post we will get the comments profile so if we just click here so we can see these simply things why because we have a name type code so we have one record for the profile and same like comments will get the value right so basically this is the json server and we can use this and the next things we need to use the postman so i have already installed the postman inside your application and the best things if you want to use the postman without installing into your um, 
system so just write postman extension okay so if we just here and it's and by clicking on this you can get the postman inside your browser also so if you just click on add to firefox or you will get the chrome extension also so if you just go to the chrome and search for chrome extension you will get this so just click on the add to firefox and it will work okay so in this way we can install the postman so i will use what i have installed into our system so just opening my postman so you can see the post that is the gate link that's the reason we are getting access so if you just copy this and try from the postman we can use this so create another new and the url is localhost 3000 and post and as usual it is a get link so just click on the send we can get access of data okay so we can get these records from the postman and if you simply check another that is if you just simply the comments and write this and paste it here and click on send we can get access of data okay. so in this way we can create our api data so we will provide the data from json server and we will create the service inside our angular application and we'll create the complete crude application right so next video will make api with json server and we will create add edit list delete api ready with us okay so that when we will integrate with angular we can use that easily right so don't forget to like and subscribe this channel and i will come with the next part very soon right and if you have any questions about this video please comment in a below comment section thanks for watching this video have a good day